I title this uh, encouragement flipgram excuses, but really there are no good excuses. Everyone's got excuses. Most people have two, like armpits. If they use them a lot, they stink. My excuses I specifically want to address in this uh, little flipogram have to do with why we don't work out. Excuse. I can't. The truth, just do it. Yeah, it sounds very Nike-ish. But it makes sense to say just do it to me because I use the excuse I can't for far, far too long. I didn't. I wasn't involved in any kind of uh, team sports or any activity at all for ever until last two years ago, a uh, year and a half about, when I started in resets. Okay, thirty-five-year-old guys shouldn't feel so. Bleh. I mean, I feel so tired and zonked and just out of it and weak and I uh, didn't like it because I used the excuse for years I can't. I can't so I didn't try. Now the truth is about this you can. Might not be able to be as fast or as, as strong or or but you can do it. You can all do it. Anybody can do it. And that's why we say just do it. Maybe not like someone else. One of the first things I remember uh, Dub saying when I started doing Reset was leave, the pride at the do- leave your pride at the door. Now obviously this is uh, for people who um, think they're big and bad and tough and cool and forget it. You know, leave that leave that pride at the door. But I took it as kind of a contrapositive. I'm the opposite of that. I'm not good at this. I'm not good. At it. Forget it. Leave that. That's an, this negative pride. That's that's where you feel like you've been. But no, forget it. Just leave that at the door. Just do it. Another excuse. There's no time. The truth, everyone gets the same 24 hours. Yeah, look at your priorities. Is there no time for 15-minute workouts a day? Yeah, we all have busy schedules. Work, family, kids, go to bed. But what do we do? We spend a lot of time. I mean, personally, I know I spend a lot of time playing Facebook games. Playing or just look reading Facebook statuses and and that could be time spent doing something else, something active. Now workouts different for everyone. I'm not advocating. Well, I am advocating for some for some people go out and 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 sweat and lift weights and that kind of thing. But everyone's different. But everyone gets to the same amount of time. The excuse that there's no time, that doesn't that doesn't fly. Because somebody who works out a lot has the same amount of time. They still have a full-time job. You know, I know a lot of people who work full-time jobs, have full-time families, and work out a lot. <laughs> and they still... They succeed. You just gotta prioritize. That's what it. That's what it comes down to. It's a big excuse. Is there's no time? The answer is prioritize your life better. The excuse I'm too tired. The truth is, working out creates energy. It sounds weird. It really does, but it gives you more energy for what you do. You get, I mean, well, maybe it's not total truth because you can't create energy. But you have more energy in your body if you're spending energy in the right way. Then you won't feel so tired all the time, so exhausted. You might feel sleepy, which is good. Everybody sleeps. 
but you use the energy that you have in the right way, so it seems like you have more. Which brings me to the four pillars. The four pillars of physical fitness are hydration, nutrition, sleep, and activity. Activity, you think the actual working out part, that's only a quarter of, of what it takes for good physical fitness. Yeah, if you work out and you run and you, you do stuff, that's you're going to end up losing weight. Will you keep it off? You've got to make it a habit. If, if that's your goal, you've got to have good physical fitness. So you've got to have all four pillars. You can't just have the activity. Hydration. Drink right. Come on, your body uses water. It's like what, like 70% water or 90% water? Or say. There's a lot of water in your body. You've got to use, you, when you sweat, you're getting toxins out of your skin. How does it get it out? Water pushes it out. Water pushes the toxins out of your body. So you need to put more water in your body. Hydration is important. Nutrition, food is fuel. You put in crap, crap comes out. I mean, if you want to take take it literally, anything you put in your body comes out as crap. But you know what I mean. If it's bad food, it's gonna it's pff, instantly turn to fat, instantly turn to sugars in your body, and, and not be good. And no, food is fuel. Think about the things you fuel, like your car. Can you stick whatever you want to in the... In, no, you've got to use gasoline. Because it's equipped for that kind of fuel. Your body uses a certain kind of fuel. Not that food can't be fun. I mean, you can't enjoy your meals. That's not what I'm saying. You can still enjoy food, but be cognizant. Be knowledgeable. Be aware that what you put into your body... It's going to have a certain kind of reaction with your body. It's going to fuel your body in a certain way. Three, sleep. Get good sleep. Which is hard to... I, yeah. I know I work a weird shift at work. And I don't sleep eight hours straight. I actually... I don't know how true this is. For everyone, I'm sure it's different. But I I read that breaking it up into, you know, like, sleep like three hours, then take a break, get up and, and do something. Then sleep about three more hours and get up and do something. Better than sleeping straight in nine hours. You know, better than staying in bed for nine hours straight. You get up and, and you break it up like that. I don't know if that's great. Works for me. My body has been functioning very well this way. Everybody has a different sleep pattern. But we all need sleep. Sleep is the recharge. The recharge that's necessary for good physical fitness. Your body will get better. Now, you try to institute any of, any of the four pillars at once. And alone, they won't lead to great physical fitness. But eventually, you know, the others will be added. You know, all, all four working in tandem will be good physical fitness. You've got a diet, crash diet. You lose 50 pounds in a week. Yeah, don't institute all four of the pillars. It's going to come back. So if that's your goal, just losing weight, that's, you know, because that, that's a big physical fitness goal, you got to use all four pillars to get anywhere. Okay, that's my encouragement for today.